Hey guys, my name is Olivia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We're actually going to be designing a t-shirt today. It's part two. If you haven't already watched the first episode, I definitely recommend the first one was based off of a TikTok. You can check that out on my channel. But yes, today we're actually going to be designing a t-shirt based off of a popular trend. If you haven't seen You've probably been living under a rock. People are obsessed with axolotls at the moment. <laughs> People love the axolotls. They are super cute. There's tons of videos on TikTok. Minecraft have axolotls in now too. So I thought we can make a cute little design with a, an axolotl incorporated into it. So we're going to start by looking up some reference images because like as cute as they are, I don't heckin' know off by heart what axolotls look like. Like, if I were to draw one without looking at a reference, it would be interesting, that's for sure. Now to spell it, don't judge me. <laughs> Look at this little guy! Look at his little face! So, <laughs> it seems that the, like, the average axolotl is it has this colouring to it. We'll go with we'll go with this little guy. I mean this guy is also cute, but we'll go with this guy. Here is our reference, so I'll keep that up next to me. So if, when I keep looking off the side, it's because I'm looking at that. We shall begin. I feel like he should be holding something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just getting the, the vibe that he would be holding something, but I don't know what. Ooh, maybe he could be drinking boba. They like boba, right? Now they have quite weird long tails, thick boys. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is just finalise the line art so that it looks smoother. Oh hey, so it's actually the following day. I got a little bit distracted, so we're going to carry on today. Um, I've tried to make myself look similar. I don't know why. So what I've decided in the, the space of time that I've not been recording, I'm gonna do three, three axolotls. Um, so we've got this little lady right here, looking super cute with a little sippy, sippy boba tea. Um, and then we're gonna have one here, and then we're gonna do another one here. So like a little trio of axolotls, just hanging out and being friends and having a good time. Okay, so here is the the basic line art. What we're gonna go for? I'm I'm just going for something simple. I feel like they they look cute as they are. Now we're gonna move on to the color. We're gonna do a basic color for each of them, just so it's easier to then go back and edit the colors if we um, if we want to for like the individual axolotls. <laughs> So now that we have the base colour, we can edit these separately to whatever colour we want. It's a little bit harder on the, the iPad actually. 
Photoshop on the computer, you can adjust the hue and saturation, you know, the brightness really, really easily. Um, but the Photoshop on the iPad I found is a little bit trickier. You can add an adjustment layer and edit the hue that way. Although I found that it, it changes the hue of everything in the image and that's not what I want. So if anyone has any suggestions about how I do that, then please let me know in the comments. Um, because I have no idea. <laughs> For now, we can just, you know, select it and then go to the paint bucket um, and choose whatever colour you want. I should have done that the Axotl's little, like, frilly things on a separate layer to its body so that I could do the colour over the top of the body colour so that they like I wouldn't need to rub out like these bits here but oh, you've chosen the hard way. <laughs> I'm not really doing these in any like particular area. I guess what I'm sort of trying to do is uh, the shading like in, in the cracks. Like I said previously, in the cracks and crevices where there would be shadow. And then potentially, potentially we'll have some sort of light source, maybe coming from like here somewhere, but we'll, we'll focus on that later. coming along really nicely okay so the next thing is just the color for the tail it's taken a little longer than I thought it would but it does look really good <laughs> they're so cute oh my god <laughs> Okay, um, so what I'm going to do next is add some lighting. So we're going to go and add a, first we'll add an overlay layer and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to go back to the original colours that I drew their whole bodies as. So we can do a quick selection and now it's really easy just to go back onto the overlay layer and add some uh, highlights without going over the edge. So we're going to use a soft round brush for this. And then we'll add another layer and this is going to be the um, hard lighting. This really does add like more depth to the drawing so without with. We're gonna go down to the underlay now and we're gonna make that darker too. There's a bunch of places where I've gone outside the line here so now we can see that much better. So once again, it is the following day. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I get distracted. I get distracted but <laughs> we're in this again for the third time in a row so so I think we're almost finished with the um the artwork now so I'm just going to finalize everything now make it look really neat and tidy add some like you know pizzazzy bits maybe and then we can go and see what it looks like as a tea <laughs>
If you're wondering how I do the splatters on the top layer, that is with a special brush. It's the uh, Spatter and Texture brush in the... I think it's just like the default Photoshop brushes on the iPad. I have made the layer that they're on a hard light layer and then you just increase the size to however big you want and then you can add the bubbles in. It's just like a really easy way of, of doing that sort of thing. So I'm just using this pastel brush to give the axolotl tools a little bit more texture to them because they're quite, I mean they are cartoony, that's the, the style, but also they look a bit, they look a bit flat as they are. It's very subtle but I think it works. Ta-da! So we have the final design here. I think it looks really cute. I did change this little lady's eye colour um, because once again Tim pointed out <laughs> something about my drawing <laughs> and he said that before she reminded him of this guy from Rick and Morty which as much as it pains me to say it was true. It was true and I couldn't unsee it so I changed her eye colour and I think that she looks less scary now. I'm so happy with this. I think the lighting looks awesome as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now let's head on over to Printful and see what it looks like as a t-shirt. And once you're there, you go to product templates and you want to create more product templates. You go ahead and choose whatever shirt you want. I'm just gonna go with this um, basic unisex shirt for now. Click drop your design here and you want to upload your design. I've tried a few different um, sizes here because the initial 1080 by 1080 was too small so I recommend if you want to do this yourself make the canvas size bigger. I'm trying this as 2080 by 2080 so let's give this a go. I hope this works because it was too small last time and when it has uploaded you go ahead and cl click place. So I'm gonna do the new one here. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, it works. It's bigger. Okay. Yes, use a bigger canvas size. You can choose whereabouts you want it. You can make it smaller. There's also the dimensions um, on the left hand side as well. Just there. Um, I did explain this in my last video, um, but yes. <laughs> I actually think this looks so good. So, yeah, what I do, obviously, because. Um, my brand is Peaches and Teas. We always add an inside label, um, which says Peaches and Teas with our logo on right here. Yeah, so I'm so happy with how this looks. Uh, you can also choose what kind of colors you want as well. They're all on the left hand side here. And you can upload as many, as many colors as you want. It really just depends on what you think looks good. Um, you could have all of them if you want to, but I'm just going to go with these. So we have black, lilac, ocean blue, light blue, and white. I think that the black is my favourite because it looks like, I don't know, it looks like a weird photo. If that makes any sense at all. I like that the most. So here we have the t-shirt and the final art piece here for you. I think this is my favourite, my favourite shirt so far. I just love that it. it looks like they're in... It's like a little world. Like they're teleporting into their own little axolotl world. We're having a little peek. <laughs> so if you like this shirt too and you love how it turned out, you can actually go and buy this on my store, peachesandtees.com. Um, it will be available on there to purchase. Well guys, thank you so much for watching once again. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should draw next. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.